Hello everyone, my name is Joe Beer, and this is a video demonstrating using the DAVR in conjunction with our ST800. We had some audio issues from the wind we were experiencing this day, so I had to format it a little with this audio dubbed in. The DAVR, as you see in my right hand, is a small, compact, durable receiver that we are now advertising in use with the ST800. The DAVR plugs into our CT clamp, as you see in my left hand, the same CT clamp that can be also plugged into our STRCV unit. We have the ST800 connected to a three-phase 120-208 secondary 13824 kV primary pad mount. With the ST800 connected to two phases, we turn the unit on to verify the phase-to-phase -phase voltage by the 214 volt reading. With the voltage verified, and as the unit begins to count, we can turn the voltage current or VI switch to the I position for our current display. We're already up over 300 amps now, so we'll continue letting it ramp up. And once it gets to maximum current, then we'll go ahead and use the DAVR with the CT clamp. I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about the DAVR as it's ramping up in current. So the DAVR, again, it's a, a digital audible visual. So it has a horn built into it and a light built into it, an LED white light and a 10 turn potentiometer. So you always wanna start with the potentiometer in the zero position, as you see it here. And it does have a locking little thumb tab there where if you do set this at some uh, threshold, you can use this little tab to lock it in place just so you, if you inadvertently hit this, it won't uh, um, adjust the sensitivity, uh, it'll have it locked in place. Um, it is self-powered, so it does have a nine volt battery in the back of the tool. So, uh, and it is self-supporting, so you can pop this out in the back and you know, set it up on a flat surface. But most of the time, you're just gonna have it plugged into the CT and you'll have it held by hand. So we'll go ahead and plug this into the CT. You'll hear it click once it snaps into place. It does have a little tab on it here. You have to press in, to pull it back out. So it is locked into place. You can't just simply pull it back out. So it's up to 800 amps now. So again, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go to my primary cables and I'll try to identify which cable uh, is the same cable as the secondary cables through the transformer. You have to be patient with this because the ST800 is polarity sensitive. So on the red cable on the ST800, the pulse is going away from the ST800. The black cable on the ST800, the pulse is going to it. So depending on the primary cable, what I wanna do is on my CT, you have a red arrow here with the ground and cinder. You actually wanna orient it away from the ST800. And on the same cable, if you don't get a pulse, rotate it 180 degrees and try it again. So you have to be patient with it. You just don't wanna have it oriented in one position and test all three cables. And maybe you won't get a pulse because you have it oriented incorrectly. So you wanna check it oriented this way. If you don't get a pulse, check it oriented this way. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. And when I first get started, since I'm right here at the ST800, I wanna adjust this just a little bit off of zero and go ahead and lock it into place. And again, go ahead and apply the CT. I'll just pick a position. It doesn't matter which way I have it oriented right off the bat, I'll just pick one. I actually got lucky here, but I wanna go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees just to demonstrate if I did have it this way the first time, I may not get anything. So again, I wanna be patient with this. 
rotate it 180 degrees and verify that in fact this is a cable or is not a cable. So again, I'll demonstrate it. I do get a pulse. So I know this is one of the phases that I'm attached to. I'll keep that same orientation and I'll go to the next phase. I don't get anything. So I should get it going the other direction if this is in fact the other phase, we'll try it. I'll spin it around. Okay, so we know this is the other phase and I can just verify that third phase just for the heck of it. Get it this way. I should not get it the other way. So that phase has no pulse on it. So I know the two phases that I'm attached to with my SD800 is in fact the phase that I have white tape on and blue tape on. Okay. So now I'll move over here to this dog box. This right here would simulate a manhole. Maybe you expose this cable in a ditch, you know, whatever the scenario may be. I just have exposed cables. I don't know what cable is what. Again, it's all energized cable, but I want to identify those two cables that I have the ST800 attached to. So again, I'll leave the setting where I had it just a moment ago over here. And I'm just going to pick orientation and just start putting it on the cable. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Pulse there. Okay, so I know that's one of my cables right there. I'll leave the orientation the same. Nothing there. I have a pulse on that cable pointing in the opposite direction, just like I did over here in the three phase pad mount. So that's my other cable. And I can continue checking my other cables just to check them. You know, maybe this is a situation where I have maybe nine cables in a manhole, and maybe I started from the other side. So let's just check another cable just to verify. Nothing there. Cables right here are in fact the same two cables that are identified in the pad mount transform. So again, that's using the DAVR receiver with the CT clamp. We do have a CT clamp and a six inch clamp as well. This is the smaller version clamp that we have. Um, and again, you can use this on secondaries, but the primary use for using the DAVR is using the ST800, again, through a, a transformer, through the turns ratio, where the current on the primary side is going to be low. The DAVR, you have the ability to increase the sensitivity by using the potentiometer. So that's the benefit of using this tool in conjunction with the ST800. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just call us, 803-786-4839. Or you guys can email us at customer underscore service at beerreaders.com. Appreciate your attention and have a great day.